Hey guys, first ever video, coloring video. I am coloring in Mythomorphia. And I apologize, this is on my phone. It's pretty close up. And I'm working on the Woodland Fairy page. And as you can see, I've got the first half good way complete. And I'm working on the grass today for the second half. So as you can see, I don't have much done on this side. So I'll be working both here today. And I'm actually using, for my base, I'm using <clears throat> the Stablo fine liners. And I actually got these neon, the set of five neons on clearance. And those are the first ones I used. And I loved them so much that by some chance I found the 30 pack of the complete set of fine liners also on sale about two weeks later. So I bought those as well. And um, I actually really like these fine liners. I'd like to get a larger set in a different brand, but I haven't, just haven't purchased any yet. So let's just get right into it. That's my brother crunching on bacon in the background. So as you can see, there's a lot of neon colors in here, and that's because, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Avatar, but that was kind of my inspiration for this page. I really liked at night where all the plants kind of look fluorescent and lit up. So that was kind of the idea that I'm going for here. We'll see how it turns out. So my fine liner marker strokes look really choppy, but if I show you this page, smoothed out a lot because I'm going over the top of them with colored pencil afterwards to add some tones, to add some shading. So we'll do that afterwards as well. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but right at the tips of the grass, in a lot of places, I did put some light blue, and the light blue I actually used a gel pen because I don't have a neon blue marker. So it's actually a really light colored um, gel pen, which is what I started these pages with was all gel pens because I didn't have the fine liners yet. But the rest of them are tipped in a, a, the neon yellow stablo. And that is uh, number 024. I don't know if you can hear my daughter in the background. She's a little over one, just started walking, so I'm in trouble now.
I apologize for the lighting, guys. I'm not sure if it's best to have my phone light on or not, and I'm not quite sure how to turn it off either. Um, oh, I think I can turn it down. Let me see. Hmm. We'll leave it there. Like I said, this is my first ever video. I'm going to have to figure out a setup for a better setup to take the video because quite honestly my phone is rubber banded to a ruler which is anchored into a cardboard box right now that is the fanciness of my setup um, so I'm gonna have to figure out a better more stable setup some proper lighting this is all new to me I've been following the color community for about a year now. I really enjoy watching everybody's coloring videos and tutorials. It's really relaxing. And I know I learn a lot from watching how other people color, so I thought, you know, I'd like to share what I do as well, but I am going to have to work on my setup, I think. And I think I'll learn some things along the way about taking videos and such. So you'll just have to bear with me as I struggle through this learning curve, I guess. can't really tell. See this right here? I can't really tell. To me it looks like a rock, although I did just color it a little green. We'll skip it for now and we'll go back and hopefully the purple, I don't know if you can see the, the purple pencil here. I think that should go over and color that green spot just fine because I do think that this piece right here is a rock. It's part of this rock. So we'll go back and get that later. No worries. Oh, Miss Abigail, you're being very quiet over there, which can only mean that you're getting into something you might not supposed to be. Hold on, guys. Gotta check on the baby. Ah. What are you doing? You can't be playing with this. You can't be playing with this. This is yuckus. Sorry, honey. Yuckus. Yuckus, yuckus. Sorry about that guys, but as any of you with children know, as soon as the baby starts being quiet, it usually means they're getting into something they shouldn't be. She was over there ripping up some paper, probably going to eat it. Oh, Abby, Abby, Abby. You don't say. Alright, so I'm just going to finish this last little bit up with marker, and then I'm going to go over it with the colored pencil, just to give you guys an idea of how to lay the colored pencil on top of the fine liner, and how to create those 
shaded parts as well as I add I'm just adding some extra color in by using a different color pencil all right so there we go so that's basically what I'm doing that's my fine liner base I go in, I put in the tips in yellow and blue and then afterwards I'm going to now add on the pencil on top so my cheat sheet here where is it here's my cheat sheet it's showing me all the colors that I'm using for this and the pencils I'm actually currently using right now are the um, Prisma colors for this and I'm using the spring green and the chartreuse and I actually think it's the chartreuse that I'm using on top of the grass right now Just looking through guys, looking for my pencil. I wasn't prepared and I have some of them up in my cups behind me here. I wasn't sure if they were in my tin. See the ones that I'm currently using, I also keep in this cup as well behind me. Spring green. Chartreuse. It's one of those two, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't remember which one, so we're going to try them both. No shame in that. I'm almost positive it's the chartreuse, and I apologize, there's a little bit of a glare there. Chartreuse, number 989. I am going to have to work on this lighting, it is just awful. Yes, it is the chartreuse, so I'm going to move the spring green to the side, and... Looking for my pencil sharpener, guys. You know what? I think I left it upstairs. It's okay. For this demo, we'll do without. I'll sharpen it afterwards. I'm just going to move this up because I like to start from the bottom. I'm just basically going over with the chartreuse. So I'm not pushing too hard. Medium to light pressure here, but this is just to add a little bit of a brighter yellower color. the grass Abby's talking up a storm. No real words yet besides Mama and Dada, right? Where's Dada? Where's Dada? Is Dada at work today? So you see guys, you see the difference? I don't know if you can see it here between the yellow, the yellow tone now that we've added to this grass and here where we have no pencil. Also, it kind of helps to hide some of those um, those fine liner marker strokes. I mean, not completely, but you know what? It's grass, and grass are blades, so that's okay. It's okay to have a little bit of streakiness there, as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't bother me. Again, guys, I'm not using heavy pressure. Medium to light pressure here. Okay. 
and I didn't realize it when I painted or when I <laughs> painted when I markered this guy green he kind of blends in with the grass so I'll probably go over there go over on top of him with some kind of funky colored pencil I'd like to make them pop I want them to stand out I don't want them to blend into the grass You don't say, Miss Abigail. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't get as much time to color as I would like. Having the baby to chase after. I also have two boys. Plus my husband, you know, gotta take care of the husbands. Gotta keep them happy. I just don't get as much time. Most of the time I'll get 5 to 10 minutes here and there to color. Try to color at the end of the night, but usually the baby's crawling on, on my lap. She wants to look in my book with me and turn my pages. Spend more time looking through the books than we do getting a color. But that's okay. I just nibble at my pages a little time here, a little time there. Probably take me forever to completely finish a page. And in fact, since I started adult coloring at the beginning of this year, I have only completely finished two pages. All right, so that's all the green, all the chartreuse on top of our fine liner green. So now for the shading part, I used, and that's this color, this is like a blue that I used. And I believe, looking at this, I think it's this true blue here. So I'm going to go and look for that pencil next. And Miss Abigail got herself stuck under a chair. Oh, what am I going to do with you, Peanut? There you go. So again, I'm looking at my cup. Because these are the pencils that I'm using all the time. Here it is, True Blue. So this is Prisma Color, True Blue, and this is number 903. And I apologize for such for such the small coloring window, but this is the setup I got right now, guys. You don't say. Abby's talking to you guys too. She's saying hi. Say hi, Abby. So, this is the great thing that I really like about these Kirby Roseanne's books, is they, he's adding the, the, the suggested shading lines for you, and I'm still learning about the right places to shade, so for me, these are great guidelines for me to follow when I want to add in my shaded tones. I'm just going to follow his suggested lines. And everywhere his lines are, I'm just going to go ahead and add in my true blue. Here I'm using about medium pressure. I've already got a layer of colored pencil down, so if I go too light, you're not going to really see it. And I do want it to be a little dark because, again, this is my shaded part.
that's Miss Abigail just whining because nobody's playing with her. So as soon as I finish up. So there's the shading on the grass. So I think I'll show you guys a rock real quick how I'm doing these. And as you can see, it's purple, and I'm doing, um, that's the that light blue gel pen again. That's that light blue gel pen. And I was using a hot pink gel pen, but the hot pink Stablo, again, this is that neon set that I was telling you about. That hot pink just pops so much more than the gel pen, so I'm actually using that. So I'm going to do a rock real quick, because I think Miss Abigail wants some mommy attention. So what I do is I'm going in, I'm going to do this one, and I'm just picking some highlighted edges to make pink or blue, and I'm kind of picking them at random. Okay, baby. And real quick, and then I'm using... Again, my cheat sheet, these are for my rocks. I'm using violet and blue violet. So let me find those real quick. There's my violet. There's my blue violet. Mama's almost done, honey. So basically, I'm gonna use my violet. This is Prismacolor Violet, number 932. I'm gonna go ahead and color my rock in. I'm gonna start, and I don't want to go over my fine liner, so I'm avoiding my fine liner and my gel pen. I'm coloring around them, and I apologize. I hope you guys can hear me. Baby's wanting some attention right now. I'm gonna go over light pressure. Then I'm gonna use my Prismacolor Violet Blue, number nine three three. I apologize for that bright lighting. And then we're going to go ahead and do the shading, which is actually a good part of this rock. And then we're going to go back over with the violet again. And we're just going to, now we're going to use a heavier pressure. If I feel like it needs it, I'll go back over with the fine liner or the gel pen. Guys, I apologize. I'm going to have to go now that I think the baby needs me. Hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope to be posting again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.